So what is good color in Aster Images? And how difficult does it have to be to make colors? We spent all this money on these great cameras and filters. And, you know, then we just end up getting images that look like this. Obviously, and if you don't know, it's because of all the, the different light pollutions and gradients and all that kind of stuff. I've been using a couple really easy, simple scripts for some processes that weren't very long, but it just kind of like helps, especially when you're shooting through a ton of extra filters now, or if you're just using one-shot color stuff. I've got three examples and show you these two simple processes that I'm using now. Chad, this is the Easy Aster Image channel we're gonna play with some photons today as always we're working in pixel site for right now i gotta do some videos on some other stuff for you guys because there's so much out there to do if you like what we do here please like comment subscribe and you can join the channel if you want to or send me a couple bucks via paypal the dog needs treats we always got to worry about the dog Let's take a look at a few of these images here and let's just get these out of the way. The two scripts that we're gonna be using is, first of all, we're gonna be using the auto linear fit, which is in Jurgen's toolbox. If you don't have this downloaded, I highly suggest you do in the repositories. If you don't know how to get that, there's plenty of videos or you can reach out to me and we can tell you how to do this. Now the audio loader your fit, what it's gonna do is it's automatically gonna separate your color image or whatever into R, G and B colors. And then it is going to match them all up at the same intensities and give you a somewhat perfect color image, but we still need to do a couple steps. Now this auto linear fit also only gives you a couple different options. So lowest mean, lowest mean by signal, lowest mean by noise, or if you want to take the extra step and run the statistics process, which you can get up here in the processes area, you can do by the highest, but I haven't really noticed any difference using lowest mean or highest mean. So we're just gonna check this button here and it's gonna do its thing, and then we're gonna see the image change here. So now let's go ahead and just reset the screen stretch, and there we go. We literally have our linear fitted image ready to go. Some people will say this is very subjective and, you know, a color, I'm, I'm not like an, a, an SBCC guy. I'm like in the Sky Story thing. I never use the crop that it generates, so I always have to go through and do an astrometric solution. Maybe I'll want to rotate it or crop it, and it just gets annoying and gets in the way. You can run these at any time that you want to, obviously, earlier in the process, the better. So when you're done with this, then you're gonna go to the utility script, which is built into PixInsight, and just click on auto color. And it's gonna do pretty much the exact same thing for you. Now, once again, we can reset the histogram and we will have an auto colored image. How does it look inside of an actual histogram? Well, let's open up the histogram transformation tool and take a look at it. So if we go ahead and just kind of zoom in and see what our histogram looks like, we can see that all of our channels are pretty well aligned. There's no reason to go ahead and like remove green or anything else else like that i mean if we wanted to like shift the green around a little bit we could green first so let's just go ahead and do that and maybe that did make the image look a little bit better i'm not gonna lie so i might have to go back and play around with scnr a little bit i find when i use curves to pull out green a little bit sometimes it gives me different results that i might not like so let's reset this and look at the histogram again and it's not a whole lot different. Now this data is linear. So if we just wanted to go ahead and stretch this and now look at our channels, we can see that the green is a little bit further behind on the channel. So not horrible at all. So let's do it again on a galaxy script, auto linear fit in the toolbox, lowest mean, check the box, Reset the screen stretch, there we go. Script, utilities, auto color, 
And there we go. Lots of color that is in there that is just ready to be pushed out. Loving it. Last one, the Pleiades. There's all kinds of browns and everything else going on in here. And this just will show you how well this actually works. All right, there's phase one. Go down to utilities. Go to the auto color. Let that run. And we're going to get an color cut. And we're going to get an auto colored Pleiades. And we can run SCNR on it. And yeah, I guess that did go ahead and make everything a little bit better. Now, the last bonus step that I want to show you is in the GHS stretch, which you haven't seen my video about the GHS where I did like four images in like 15 minutes and how super easy it is to do. Highly recommend. I'll put a link to it right up here. So we'll just go ahead and stretch this the way that I normally would. So we can just skip through this real quick. Now that we've done all of our stretching, all you got to do is click on mode and go to saturation. And then this is the best saturation tool ever. Now you can really get heavy handed with it. So you've got to be very, very, very gentle. But I find that this gives me just great colors and great looking stars right off the bat without doing anything in curves transformation or anything else like that. So I'm really happy with the color that I get inside of using a GHS. And then if you wanna make it, of course, even better, you could open up a noise exterminator, go ahead and get rid of all of that color noise, drop that baby on there. And now you are just golden. You've got a beautiful colored image literally in seconds and we did the, all three of these in no time so i hope you guys enjoyed that little tutorial about those scripts and throw them into workflow try them out don't worry about auto cropping and spcc and all of this malarkey this it this works great like you know if i'm wrong tell me i'm wrong please we'll talk to you guys later peace